Hello, we're here today with Michael Farmer. Michael, you've been um, a very successful, at a very, very young age, a successful entrepreneur in four different companies, is that correct? That's correct. And in fact, you, you retired very early in, in your career. Relatively early, yeah. I've been retired for about 10 years. What, what, what would you contribute your early success? What was the main component that you would contribute your success to? In, in a word, belief. I uh, had a strong desire from a young age to do something really special with my life. And I knew that the nine to five grind wasn't it for me. I couldn't make enough money to get out of the debt I was in or enjoy the freedoms that I wanted with my young children. I was just at a dead end but I had so much desire to do something different. I tried uh, a couple of different home-based businesses and I would reach a very low level of success, think I was ready to make the next stride and then it would just go backwards. And for me, the key thing was I reached a point where I finally believed that I could accomplish what I was setting out to. A lot of people set goals but I, they don't down deep really believe that they can achieve them. For me, that was the kicker. I got to a point, even though I wasn't making all the money, I believed that I really could do it. And it, I don't know how to explain it, and I know a lot of people think that they, they say they believe things, but you can tell by their action what their core beliefs really are. And when I started really believing I could achieve it, I found that people were drawn to me, wanted to be part of my business. And the other thing is I believe that I deserved it. For me, I had a lot of self-defeating be beliefs and behaviors because I didn't think I was worth the success that I set out for myself. Yeah, I, I can see that obviously in my, as you were talking, I can feel that in my advancement in my career. So when you come up against those walls, what were some of the things that you might have done that helped you create the belief, helped you overcome those self-defeating doubts? A practical thing is to make sure you count the people that are in your circle of influence. What are they, what is their thoughts and opinions of you? Sometimes you gotta switch the crowd you're hanging with. And I was fortunate enough to find some people that believed in me more than I did myself. And until that transfer, until I internalized that, I didn't really see the success, but that helped greatly. Excellent, excellent. Well, I can see the belief. In fact, you've actually come out of retirement, haven't you? I did, recently, well, yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. Why would somebody who's retired into a comfortable retirement come out of a... Uh... Friend of mine that I had known from another previous entrepreneur called me on the phone. Uh -huh. I thought he was crazy because he walked away from a quarter of a million dollar wow. residual income to start a candle company. Talk about belief, huh? I thought he was crazy, but I heard the conviction in his voice. He started talking about the statistics with candles, that there was a revolution in the six billion dollar candle industry. He had, he had a concept with a healthy natural candle that was way ahead of its time. I knew that it had all the ingredients for success that people really need to give them that extra leg up. It was fun, something everybody could do, a product that somebody, everyone consumes and uses. I couldn't say no and it's been a blast. Absolutely, that sounds like it was a blast. Well, if you are, I mean, you can absolutely feel Mike's belief, conviction. I mean, he actually came out of a 10-year retirement because of that. Absolutely. If you're ready to move forward, maybe overcome some self-defeating doubts that you have in yourself, obviously, this is a great place to start. Just fill out the information below. I would be happy to give you a half an hour free success consultation. And as a free gift, I would also like to give you my ebook. I look forward to speaking to you soon. Mike, it was an absolute pleasure. Thank, Thank you, Christine. Bye.